For the first time, the House Education Committee has subpoenaed a university. Harvard is accused of obstructing an anti-Semitism investigation. This all goes back to the congressional testimony, you'll remember, of now former Harvard President Claudine Gay in a fiery exchange with New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Do you believe that type of hateful speech is contrary to Harvard's code of conduct, or is it allowed at Harvard? It is at odds with the values of Harvard. Can you but not say here that it is also... against the code of conduct at Harvard? Harvard ranks the lowest when it comes to protecting Jewish students. This is why I've called for your resignation, and your testimony today, not being able to answer with moral clarity, speaks volumes. From this testimony, a domino effect. Investigation after investigation would open. A spotlight on Harvard would lead to the discovery of President Gay's plagiarized materials and her resignation. And the Ivy League's troubled saga continues with this latest subpoena. House Republicans say Harvard gave an unacceptable response to the committee's request for information on anti-Semitic attacks on campus. The committee wants to see the school's documentation of all anti-Jewish incidents on campus going back three years to look at how Harvard addresses Jewish students' concerns. The school says they already complied and handed over 3,500 pages related to the inquiry. But the committee calls it incomplete, issuing a subpoena wanting the full documentation. Education Committee Chairwoman Virginia Fox said Harvard's continued failure to satisfy the committee's request is unacceptable. I will not tolerate delay and defiance of our investigation while Harvard's Jewish students continue to endure the firestorm of anti-Semitism that has engulfed its campus. A spokesperson for Harvard responded, while the subpoenas were unwarranted, Harvard remains committed to cooperating with the committee and will continue to provide additional materials while protecting the legitimate privacy, safety and security concerns of our community. The committee is asking for specifics. They want documents and communications related to alleged harassment of Jewish students at a die-in protest pro-Palestinian protest, and a week-long anti-Israel campaign on campus. Harvard was given a deadline of March 4th to respond to the committee with a more thorough response. On news of the subpoena, Harvard reiterated anti-Semitism has no place in the Harvard community.